Hello Rutbags, it's Jade. Welcome to an Atlas release date video guys. Make sure you like liking the video to show the channel some support and let me tell you everything you need to know about Atlas coming to Xbox. I let you guys know recently that it was coming. I've done a few videos talking about it and I've included it in my survival games coming to console video. Is Atlas going to be worth playing is a different matter and I'm going to be going into that in much more detail with a preview review of the game before it hits Xbox. The big news is of course though it is going to be crossplay with Steam, exactly the same game. They're promising that the game will be updated for both systems exactly the same time which kind of makes sense if we're going to be cross playing with Steam players. So when Atlas gets an update on Steam it will be there exactly the same time on Xbox because it's the same world. There are a whole bunch of unanswered questions we need to dissect with this but let's crack on. When are you going to get a chance to play Atlas on the Xbox? October the 8th is when it's going to be released only a few weeks away you'll be able to sail the seas and maybe steer yourself away from that other pirate game and hopefully explore and enjoy a new type of survival experience in a massive multiplayer world Okay, so the brand new lead design of Atlas, if you don't know, they've employed someone else to take the game forward. The previous guys, the creators of Art Survival Evolved, are taking a hands-off approach maybe a little bit more. Uh, who knows what they're up to? Maybe hopefully working on the brand new art DLC. Anyway, this video is about Atlas. He done a little bit of an interview and I have to say a bit disappointed. It was just reiterating what they spoke about in a live stream a couple of weeks ago, that they're redoing Atlas in a different way. Arc had updates pretty much every single month while it was in game preview and early access and when it came to the xbox game preview it pretty much got them sort of same updates always a little bit behind pc but them same updates came pretty thick and fast atlas is spacing them out a little bit more they're calling them phases with phase one going to be about performance making polish work and bug fixing and stuff like that that's what they're going to be launching with on october the 8th when atlas launches on the xbox games preview it is games preview of course so that does mean it should be a lot cheaper than the final product but it does mean there's going to be lots of problems lots of issues if you played arc on xbox during that time you will know it is one hell of a ride you're going to come across really frustrating gameplay situations, lots of problems, lots of issues, I'm sure. What I can say right now is Atlas, even though it launched in a terrible way when it launched last December, it ran pretty well when it finally got going. A couple months later, a few issues here and there, it actually runs surprisingly a lot better than you would think, even I would say better than Ark. That's because it doesn't have as much land masses around, it doesn't have as many creatures, as much foliage. Basically, the world doesn't have to compute everything that's going on, even though it's got thousands of servers, or hundreds of servers, I should say, connected, it's literally because it's water most based that's what the devs said when it was coming out it would make performance better and i can say it definitely did notice that i felt like it ran a lot better in certain instances for sure there's lots of problems though still with the game on pc at the moment there's no getting away from the fact the game is pretty dead it has tried various attempts at revitalizing the game and kind of bringing it back after its failed launch if you had no idea about Atlas, you didn't follow it at all during its preview on Steam and the way it launched, it basically overhyped itself. A lot of people felt like it was misleading with the trailers and it just didn't deliver on what it said it would in the beginning stages. We could sit here all day debating the merits of early access and what you would expect to happen with an early access game, but ultimately they really didn't do what they should have done in basic testing to make sure the game was even joinable. Lots of problems in joining it. So there could be them same problems, but as I said, it's pretty stable as it were. There's lots of changes that need to be made. They still need to do a lot of work in making it more fun and interesting while you're sailing around the world. And that's what they plan in phase two. Obviously, this is going to be months apart. So phase one, fixes, optimization, making sure that the launch and the crossplay between Steam and Xbox runs really well on October the 8th. And then hopefully phase two, I guess, after Christmas, looking at adding more ways, more enjoyment in sailing, getting players on boats quicker and controlling them a lot easier. It's probably the biggest criticism Atlas has had, and they have done various things to try and change it, is it's just a bit of a grind. It's very much like Ark Survival Evolved, but set 
on a pirate themed world now lots of detractors are going to say it's just a mod we saw and realized it was a mod from the arc game i would like to coin it more about it being an arc engine the devs said this a little while ago and really it is when you think about assassin's creed games from years gone by and call of duty games they're the same game they just had a few bells and whistles on it just them developers are smart enough not to show what's behind the curtain wild cards grape shot the developers had done a big mistake they added the menu for arc survival evolved in atlas when you first booted it up so i had lots of accusations of rip off and cash grab atlas is very different from arc it has got them survival elements it has got that frustrating grind but it's also got a whole host more with skills a whole host more with customizable building in terms of the way that you take forward your boats and customize stuff it still needs a lot of work with the rest of the world and exploration they don't want it to be arc 2.0 focus just on taming they want it to be a pirate game but getting that balance right between pvp and pve has been pretty hard and offline raiding has been a huge factor and issue with atlas they've tried various different things to combat it they've revamped and changed their claim system how you claim land whether or not it'd be claiming one spot on an individual piece whether or not you claim a whole island and all that stuff i don't really want to go into too much because it's all probably going to change in the next six months anyway but I do want to get across, if you're expecting Atlas to be Sea of Thieves, if this brand new information for you, Atlas is coming, think again. Atlas is like the complicated, older, grungier and slightly broken older brother. It's got some great features, but it's going to be filled with bugs, filled with issues, and they still need a lot of work to make it more enjoyable. I always try and be fair and balanced with my content. I show and hype up new games as they're coming out. I talk about what I'm going to expect and what I enjoy. And when games are good, I champion them as much as I can. Even when games aren't good, I try and be reasonable and expect that they're in early access or they're a small developer. I have issues with Grape Shot and Wild Cards. They're not, in my eyes, a small developer. Yes, they still may only have about 30 people working on Atlas as a project right now, but they have basically two studios, one looking after Ark, one looking after Atlas. And they've got a big, big daddy company in Snail Games, the Chinese company that basically has done a lot of survival and porting and all sorts of stuff. So they're not a small company. You can't be a small company anymore if you've sold 16 million copies of a game. That's how many copies of Ark have sold. It's still got a great fan base. Atlas does not have that fan base. Atlas is struggling at the moment with only 1,900 to 2,000 odd players at its peak in the last week or so. You can go and check this information up, Atlas Steam Player, put it into Google and it'll come up on the Steam charts and you can see the demise of the players just abandoning this game. It's happened before, there's been some successful turnarounds. Believe it or not, after the hype of Rust, it actually went through a period where they were deciding what to do with the game, where players weren't really playing it for a while. But when they got that right and decided to really go for it with Rust, the developers, it went strength to strength to strength and just maintained it. Wildcard and Ark maintained their player base and they grew it multiple times. Atlas has really struggled to do that. It's had big updates, they've added a whole bunch of stuff. You can play offline now, so if the thought of a massive multiplayer game it doesn't really do it for you, you can play it offline. You can go and explore the whole world. Huge servers filled with interesting islands and locations and creatures, all on your own. They've even added a free DLC map that gives you more of an overall experience, but centered in just one tiny little area to explore. So there we go, lots of criticism from me, lots of talking about the failures of Atlas so far. Like I said though, they have got lots of people working on it. They've got an impetus to do what the fans want. They added the offline play because a lot of people wanted to try and experience Atlas for themselves without having to spend hundreds on servers. They added the DLC map to show a case what you can basically expect from Atlas in the future maybe. And so I do think there is good merits in this game. I do see it being something that that could be really special but i just don't know if they'll ever be able to achieve it they need players on it so xbox players coming into the, the world is going to be great big questions are are they going to wipe the servers now it might not be such a big deal but obviously the steam players are playing there are some dedicated fans there i've got a few thousand that have been stuck in with the game in the last few months are they going to be wanting a wipe 
are they going to wipe? Are they going to just let the Xbox players come and join? Atlas is meant to hold up to 40,000 players at its peak. It does that by having little servers all connected that you basically transfer over just by sailing your boat across the seas. So each server only holds about 50 to 70 players, I do remember. So it's capable of having 40,000 players and the idea was it's going to be a grand scale pirate game where you would be coordinating with different clans and companies and tribes and organizing attacks and taking over the whole map and I got really into it maybe a little bit too into it with the pvp situation I become a bit of a prick that's what happens when I get a little bit agitated playing games but it didn't sustain there was too many problems with cheating there was too many problems with bots and there was a huge huge big controversy with people having admin commands someone managed to unlock it some chinese hackers it all resulted in just a whole mess of issues so atlas is a game definitely consider it with very much apprehension check out the gameplay for yourself one good thing is because it's in game preview it should give you that one hour trial so on xbox you'll be able to try it for one hour for free and then see how it goes and this is an in-depth game though you're going to definitely need more time to really appreciate some of the good points the crafting the way that the resources and the exploration if you love that sort of stuff it's got bundles of that the building system is twice as good as the arc building system much easier you can cycle through building pieces and in terms of not being a, a grind fest they're trying to limit that they're trying to reduce that and making it more they've got plans to add npc pirate encampments to the game they're really fleshing out the world to make it something i guess they've had to do that because there hasn't been enough players they wanted players to be the npcs almost i won't say that too much because it'll be accusing of it being for that sentence six but generally that's what they thought it would be now obviously there aren't as many players in the world they're trying to make it more populated with these pirate encampments which are basically going to be npcs that you have to clear off land so you can claim the land on your own Anyway, I've gone off a little bit kilter talking about features and bits and bobs. I'm going to do much more focused videos talking about what to expect with Atlas over the coming weeks. And of course I'm going to play it. Ark, Wildcard, I am intrinsically linked with them now. My channel grew with them. And I do feel that Atlas is a good game underneath all the problems. I just really hope it carries on getting attention and that these phases aren't going to be too long. I'm going to start seeing lots of additions, lots more content coming to the game.